Little Rock is welcoming more than 500 mini cars on Monday as part of a nationwide rally. We're glad to have Dustin Bean here with Parker Mini of Little Rock here to tell us more about the Mini Takes the Rock. And of course, we have Tyler Lindsay from the Arkansas Food Bank to tell us how you can donate. And it's a great collaboration here. So tell me a little bit about this event that's coming our way Monday. Well, first and foremost, we're so excited to have so many mini owners from across the nation coming to Little Rock. Mm -hmm. We're excited to show our city off, and then we're also grateful for the opportunity to support the local food bank and have a lot of fun. That's what yeah. we're most excited about is having fun and, you know, just Celebrating and enjoying everything there is to do. So, in case you're wondering why there's so many minis, I, I love that um, you can see kind of the, the route here. So, they're going to come from Orlando to Tallahassee, New Orleans, and then Little Rock. They're on their way to Denver. But what, what are you guys hoping to accomplish here and like in, in, in helping the food bank? Well, I mean, that's our, you know, our first and foremost, we would love to support, you know, those that are in need, but also have a fun time while doing mm -hmm. it. So the passion for our mini owners is to see the, the road that's less traveled. Um, so they've got a long route coming from New Orleans to Little Rock, but they're going to get here and we're going to have a great time. We've got a fun event planned for Monday night. Yep. Uh, it's open to our mini owners and also to the general public. So please come down, bring some canned goods, drop it off with these guys, yep. and um, have fun. And Tyler, I know you guys are constantly fundraising throughout mm -hmm. the year. This is just a unique event to do this at. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've partnered too with Mini Cooper for many years. Uh -huh. I mean, I know they've helped us out doing events like even test driving Mini Coopers in the past. Uh -huh. They've uh, donated proceeds through that way. But uh, we're excited to partner with them on this event. You know, we'd love for you to bring non perishable food items. Items, you know, some of our most needed ones are always going to be peanut butter, canned protein. But I mean, if you have some canned vegetables, fruit items in your pantry, you know, bring those along with you. Uh, it will only take a few days before those are sorted by our volunteers and boxed up and out the door to food pantries across our service area. So we're always great to partner with uh, great corporate partners, uh, but too also to be able to give back here in our community as well. Let's just say people. You know, want to show up there last minute and they forgot to bring some canned goods. Can they donate with cash or Absolutely. go online? Absolutely, we'll have our uh, dip jar there as well, so okay. it'll be a ten dollar donation. Help provide fifty meals, but yeah, uh, come on out. And I think it'll be a very fun event. Yeah. It might be a little toasty, but uh, you but know. hey, I heard ice cream will be there. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So Lob Lolly is going to be there. Um, Rebel Kettle will be there. Wow. Um, Rodney Block will be there playing his jazz music. So it'll be a big time. Yeah, we'll have some shade. It's going to be a, a lot of fun to get you guys out there, and we'll make sure you stay cool. Anything else people need to know about this event? You know, we're just grateful to show off our city. Um, mm -hmm. So come out, show your great hospitality to all of our guests, and again, just have some fun with us. Yeah, sounds great. All right, thanks so much for joining us. Again, that's going to be Monday, so make sure you check it out. We're going to have the information on fox16.com. Check out the Good Day tab. All right, well, we're going to be right back with more Good Day after the break.